Hi, thanks for watching my video. So, I've decided to make this video out of sheer curiosity because I've got extreme violence installed and I probably will be using cheats. Well, no, I have already used a cheat, so I definitely will be. I just want to know how long it would take to kill every sim in the world if you start a new game. So I've just started a new game with this innocent old lady, little Maggie, look, she's as sweet as they come, sweet as a nut. But she does have the psychopathic tendencies trait. So to do this, or make this video, or do this challenge, I've installed um, Extreme Violence, well that was there anyway, and I've used the uh, Make My Sim Know Everyone cheat. So this is a list of everyone. My plan is, fucking kill them all. We've got a nice big garden, plenty of space for lots and lots of gravestones. So, yeah, I basically just want to have every single townie buried in my backyard. Such a sweet sentiment, right? And it's 9am, first, first thing in the morning, so no time like the present. Let's just get a load of them round. Oh, actually, do you know what I'm going to do before I do anything else? Is I'm going to go into my options and... I'm going to disable the Grim Reaper's negative reactions because he's going to be fucking, he's going to be mad at me. And also I need to disable being able to be killed because otherwise this will not get me very far. Exclude this sim from getting killed and then also I need to exclude her from being arrested. Uh, disable cops. Brilliant. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right, let's just invite a load of people over. I'm looking forward to seeing the differences in, um, like, vampire graves and mermaid graves and just regular sim graves. Yeah, that's it. Watch. They're all come, they all come flooding in. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's just go straight into extreme violence, deadly interactions. We'll crack her neck. This fucker over here, we could hook up in bed with him. No, I don't think Granny Maggie is too into that. Crash head with booty. That should be interesting. Little old lady, bless her. This one, we will chainsaw her guts. Yeah, I think so. And Zoe, we will... Oh, fuck it. Let's just choke her to death. Yeah. And this guy. Can't forget about this guy. Choke him on a grilled cheese. Oh, my God. How quick that was. Literally just cracked her neck like that. Hey guys, don't be so, don't be so scared. That's her killing someone with her booty. <laughs> Jeez Christ. People aren't really best pleased with her. I'm not even going to bother getting her to clean up because what's the fucking point? Come on, Granny, you've got some more people to kill. Oh, there we go. She looks good covered in blood. It really suits her. This is like some horror movie shit. We still have the welcome wagon. <laughs> you still haven't chainsawed anyone. That one could be next. Oh, All the other sims are so concerned. <laughs> They're all like, no, no, please stop. Oh, it's all right. They're pixels. They're not real. We're going to get an atrocious reputation soon. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Atrocious reputation. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> She did that from afar. Oh, she's doing it all from afar. I do still want to see Chainsaw Guts, though. Hey, hey, I thought I disabled the Grim Reaper's reactions. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make sure I disable anything that involves someone hurting me. Because poor little granny. I'm going to exclude her from getting arrested. I'm going to exclude her from being reaped. There we go. I mean, really, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be attacking me because that was disabled. So I don't know how that one slipped through the net. They're like clapping and cheering for the Grim Reaper. She won't kill this one, even though I've asked her to kill this one many, many times. Just chainsaw her. You know what I'm going to do? Is she going to kill this one? What the fuck? She keeps like... I'm really confused why she's not killing anyone right now. 
Maggie's murder attempt had failed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Stop being such a pussy, old. Chainsaw guts? Can we finally have the chainsaw guts? Grim Reaper, I don't know why you're just standing there. It looks like you've got quite a lot of work to do here. Look at the way she's fucking walking. <laughs> Who is she kidding? <laughs> Tra la 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 la. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh. <gasps> He's got a knife. Wait, I disabled death for her, though. Right, crack his neck, because I'm sick of this fucker. Go and crack his neck. Go on, do it. From being kicked in the crotch. That's why she's walking like that, because she's been stabbed. Well, just crack his neck. Just get it over and done with. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? A oh, few people around here that are still alive, so may as well. Do you know what I might get her to do, actually? Go here. I might just get her to do an open gunfire. And hopefully... Hopefully she can take out the remaining survivors. Open gunfire. There we go. Just do that. Oh, they've all run away. <laughs> oh, there we go. You're not actually killing anyone, though. That was a bit of a waste. Oh. Please don't. Oh, I got killed a kid. Oh, I can't. I can't kill the kid. Well, that's good. I'm pleased about that, I suppose. Yeah, let's invite these people round. Why the fuck not? Invite them round. Trouble is, I don't know who I have killed and who I haven't because the Grim Reaper hasn't actually processed any of these dead bodies yet. I'm just going to crack a load of necks, I think. Yeah, crack her neck. Just go fucking mad with it, really. Oh, don't tell me the Calientes don't deserve it. Oh, a few more people over here that need killing. I'm finding that crack neck is the most efficient way of doing it. There isn't really any, any fighting back with crack neck. Just go straight in there. One thing I don't understand is why the Grim Reaper hasn't re like given me any more gravestones. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. What if I reset the Grim Reaper, would that work? Oh, Nancy, land grab. She could definitely take it, I think. But yeah, it, it's actually really difficult that the Grim Reaper isn't giving any of these people gravestones because it's making it difficult to uh, see where the uh, alive sims are in my um, in my little list here, see? Because all these people are still showing up as alive. Alive but despised. I wonder if there's a way to send all the bodies to the grave or something, I wonder. Okay, I managed to resolve the issue. All I had to do was add the Grim Reaper to my family and then remove him from my family and then everyone just became their graves. So we're starting a nice little collection over there. I think uh, let's just kill everyone who's wandering around here and then we'll get around to just inviting people around again. Oh, Malcolm Landgrab. Yes, please. I think so. Just go and collect these graves, you know. Oh, the celebrity. Yes, we have to kill the celebrity. Uh, just crack her neck. Get it done. And then this vampire over here, she can go. There we go. And then this one. People just keep wandering over. It's not even my fault at this point. People want to know what's going on. Go and collect this uh, urn there so we can put them all in our back garden. This one can go... Yes. What the fuck? Did he just get resurrected? Well, not anymore, you're not. Not any fucking more, you're not. Send you back down there, that's right. Right, let's, uh... Oh, who's this here? He can go too. At the minute, I'm literally just killing passers-by. They're literally flocking to me. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Jin Kazama, that's enough, that's enough. Seriously, though, that guy is going to die now. Oh, I'm sick of her energy failing all the time. Extreme violence. Crack his neck. This guy's a piss taker. Just beat up an old woman. What kind of heartless fuck beats up an old woman? Come on, get up. Come on, get up and fight like a granny. 
Okay, hopefully it works this time. Oh, no, it didn't. That guy is just too strong for me. How? How does he keep beating us? We'll, we'll kill Vlad, no problem. What about if we choke that guy to death? Is that gonna work? Or is he gonna beat us again? He's gonna beat us again, isn't he? We might be successful this time. We might be successful. Crack that guy's neck as well. Oh yes, finally, done. You, you were a tough nut to crack, but we cracked it in the end, didn't we? Yeah. Let's kill Octavia. She's a bit of a show off. Crack her neck. Okay, let's um let's invite a few people to hang out. I kind of have to accept that I'm not gonna be able to kill the kids, but that's okay. I don't really wanna kill the kids. There we go. <laughs> Easily done. Piece of piss. Right, let's just line up a few deadly interactions, shall we? I'm actually starting to wonder whether or not it's going to be possible to do this <laughs> this way. I'm starting to think maybe I might need to come up with a different um, a different tactic. But the trouble is I'm working off extreme violence and I'm only now just thinking, do you know what, this would have been a good time to have that... Um, the superheroes and superhero vo um, villain mod... That would be like the perfect thing to use for this kind of challenge <laughs> because you could kill everyone so quickly. So I am kind of starting to think this might be a bit difficult. That's it, choke her out. And then we'll just invite a load more people round. <laughs> she keeps coming back. I wonder why she keeps coming back. Just... Oh, they all look so sad, bless them, as they're walking around. I mean, I get it, but... Bess is sleeping. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Well, they're all going to say they're sleeping now, aren't they? So I'm just going to have to try and do what, do what I can with what I've got. Maybe I could go around collecting some urns. Why does she keep coming back to life? Oh, she's doing all of that from afar. <laughs> Is that Alex woman still alive? She's still fucking alive. Why will she not die? I want to know why she won't die. What is it going to take to kill you? Yeah, she literally will not die. What the fuck? Well, I think in the meantime, let's go around collecting some urns and um, put them in our collection. Stick it in your inventory, stick it in your inventory, stick it all in your inventory. I love that you even have the option to laugh at them. <laughs> right, let's, let's actually take a look at this. How many people have we got here? Because that, that is a lot of people. Okay, so even if I just kill the adult sims, that's still over a hundred. But then I've already killed quite a few, to be fair. Oh, I like the um, the witch's one. That's a nice gravestone. We'll hold off on any more killings until a more uh, reasonable hour, I think. Wait until like 8am, perhaps. Okay, well, day one. This is our victim list. Not bad for a day's work, if you ask me. I think that's pretty good going. But tomorrow, there will be more. Lots more. In fact, I might just start inviting people over now. Get the ball rolling, you know. Hopefully they're not all sleeping. Oh yeah, okay, good. They'll be right over. Good. Oh, Bella Goth's on her way. There she is. Let's just get as many over as possible. Before we commit absolute carnage. Okay, we've got a few people over. More and more, just keep pouring in. Yeah, that's it. Make your way round, everyone. Right, I think we've got as many people as we're going to get for a while. Let's start with Father Winter. <laughs> oh, poor fucker. Who would be heartless enough to actually kill Santa Claus? 
Well, this bitter old lady right here, she would be crack multiple necks. Right, let's just send her on a complete killing spree. Oh. Oh, Father Winter ran away. <gasps> she has murdered Cassandra Goth, though. She's killing them all from over there. I quite like that she doesn't have to go anywhere to do it, though. She can literally just do it from the comfort of standing over there. Quite impressive, really. Makes it more convenient for me. Father Winter's not dying. Crack neck, yeah. Crack this guy's neck. And then these two over here, they can go. Okay, is there anyone that isn't dead? Oh yeah, still quite a few. Still quite a few alive ones. It's alright, we'll fix that, don't worry. Don't be sad. We're gonna kill you too. Oh shit, that guy's beating us up. Oh, Nancy Landgrab, she's got to go. I thought I already killed her. I keep going through waves of feeling like, yeah, I can I can kill every city, no problem. And then I have waves of being like, oh, no, it's going to take too long. <laughs> Especially when you get fuckers like this who fight back. Oh, Alexander Goth was, ad was adopted by the Lynx household. Well, he won't be there for long. All of the children are going to be parentless when I'm done. Yeah, just invite some more people round. I think that's what we need, if anything. It's getting a bit dead around here. Don Lothario. Don Lothario's got to go. This guy, he's got to go. They all got to go, really. They're literally just dropping like flies. Oh, there's one over here. Don't miss this one. She even killed a fellow granny. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that death face. Oh, my God. That's pretty scary. You just need to take this one out and then we could invite some people around. There we go. Right, let's invite some more people over, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Tell them Granny wants to see them. Granny's got some cookies. They look like beached whales. Hey there, Amelia. How's it going? You all right? Yeah. All of the Sim children will have to raise themselves in a weird cult thing and then they'll have to repopulate the world of sims and they'll look back on this day and they'll remember the day that all of the grown-ups died that's a bit dark isn't it well you know what i'm like it's all about the storyline isn't it <laughs> maybe this could lead on to a successful let's play probably not also there's quite a few urns in the house we mustn't forget to take them out and uh, put them somewhere nice Okay, that's all of the guests gone. Let's invite some more round. Like fucking sardines. Lily Feng, you have no idea what you've just walked in on. Oh, she's running, so apparently she does. I wish I could just have like a massive, um, like fire gun, like massive fire shooter. I wonder if where the Grim Reaper is right now. There he is, right, if I add him to the family... Would that send all, everyone else to their graves? Yes, it would. Okay, good. So I can remove him from family now. So now it should show me a bit, a bit more clearly who's actually dead and who isn't. But some of these people I know I definitely killed. But they're showing up as still alive. Why? Okay, well, while these people are all here, Tom Axe, you can go. Brent would rather not come. <laughs> That's all right. When I'm down to my last few sims, I'll go and find you. Don't worry. Drop in like flies. Nah, no such thing as too many deaths. And a money shot. There she is. All glassy-eyed. Weird. Well, slowly but surely, we are getting through the worlds. We are, you know. It's happening. It looks like we still have a lot of people, though. Right, I'm going to add Grim to the family again. Are you having a little cry? Oh, don't worry. It's not your fault. It was just your destiny. Go here and we'll, uh, we'll invite some more people round. There can't be that many people left to kill now, surely. Surely. Oh, no, she'd rather go to sex location. Oh, for God's sake. Why won't you get dressed? Get dressed. Disgusting. Right, put all of these urns in your inventory and we'll try and make it look nice out the back, shall we? 
Yeah, that's it. We'll try and make it look nice. And then collect all of these urns out here too. Dealing with the aftermath. Well, those are all the graves that we've collected so far. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. So I reckon we've got about, what, 60 more sims to go? Something like that. Right, should we get some more people round? I think so. I think we need to, really. We need to. Invite all these fuckers round. That's right, guys, come on over. The more the merrier. <laughs> the more the merrier. I wonder how many people I can convince to come over. Right, I think that'll be, that'll be enough for now. We need to start killing some of these fuckers at some point, so that's, that's enough. Oh, look at all these fuckers in here. No idea that they're about to die. Absolutely no idea. They're all leaving. No, don't leave. Oh, fuck's sake, they're all leaving now. Could really do without that. Could really do without them all fucking off. Must kill more sims. Must kill more sims. I am at a point where I am just killing every fucker now that comes even slightly within the vicinity. You're all dying. You're all, you're, you're all dead. You're dead. Proper celebrity, we have to kill him. Nice. That's it, get all the boys round. Yeah, we like boys. We like to kill them. Crack his neck. Yeah. Is there anyone here that I haven't killed yet apart from this guy who's next on the list? No, well then let's kill that fucker. And then we'll, uh, we'll invite some more people round, I think. Just invite him to hang out, you know, just hang out, chill out. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, and I keep flip-flopping in this video, but I'm starting to feel like, okay, maybe, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can single-handedly kill every single sim individually. Yeah, I am starting to think it is perhaps possible. <laughs> oh dear. Dropping like flies. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. The Great Mass Cleanse, they'll call it. She's the Sims version of Hitler, they'll call her. We'll go down in the history books. Look at them go. Right, just go over, make sure there isn't anyone that I've missed. Oh, there's one of the fires, ladies. She's got to go. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uh, deadly interaction, cracker, no, yeah. She's literally just murdering people and then getting on the phone to invite more people round. Oh, hey, I was thinking about having some afternoon tea. You want to come over? No one su suspects a thing. Hasn't even made the news yet. I mean, there are still quite a few alive sims, which is a bit of a problem. Nothing I don't think we can't overcome, though. Don't run away. Don't run away. It's always frustrating when they end up running away. All the sims are just turning up, looking around and going, Whoa! Oh no, uh-uh. Oh yes, uh-huh. Right, let's put all these sims to the grave. Yeah, okay, then we'll get more of an accurate reflection as to who's, who's alive and who's dead. That's what we want. Full transparency. <laughs> that sims like, uh-uh, uh, yeah, yaha. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. There's a little summer holiday. She can go. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh, here's another one over here. There we go. Beautiful. What a sight to behold. Right, let's get these fuckers over then. Here we go. She still sounds... Our main character is depressed, but I don't know why. She. You have all this power. Look how powerful you are. Don't run. That won't get you anywhere. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Which do you prefer? I know which one I do. Okay, the list is getting slightly smaller now of sims that are still alive. So that, I mean, that's good. Can teenagers die? Yeah, we can kill the teenagers. Okay, good. Get Lilith Pleasant over here. The amount of kids there are going to be without any parents, I mean, that that's the sad bit, but... You know, we won't get bogged down about that. 
I think at this point, our main character, she's just pretty much desensitised to it, you know? She doesn't even, she doesn't really care at this point. Yeah, get Liliana over here. And this girl. And this guy. Oh, here's Lilith, look. They're all just arriving and immediately bursting into tears. Well, I mean, I get it. Just killing all the sims. That's it. Invite them all round. <laughs> Just keep inviting them round. Sure they won't suspect a thing. Oh, it's getting to a point now where they're all like, oh, they're sleeping. All right, we'll stop calling then. We'll just... Oh, we've got some ghosts. This place is going to be the most haunted lot. This would be a good place to do like a Halloween um, let's play. Okay, are they all dead now? I think so. Right, how many people are there that are still alive? Let's do a quick count. Oh, let's replace these. We've got some real pesky ghosts going around, ruining things. And then we'll go and put all of these graves in our inventory. Add them to the, uh, the graveyard we've been building up here. There we go. The only confusing thing is the game is showing some sims as alive when I know for a fact that they're dead. Running out of space for all these graves. Oh, hang on, this fucker's still alive. Not for long he won't be. Oh, he's running away. Ah, oh, missed that opportunity. Thought we'd already killed him. Oh, there's one still here though, she can fucking go. Everything's so peaceful. Feels like the calm after the storm. <laughs> you know when you watch a really scary horror film like Silent Hill or something and then at the end it's just all peaceful. That's what it feels like. But in this case the horror movie isn't over. Why are you crying? You should be pleased with yourself. Look at this collection you've got. She's a collector, see? She, she, she loves graves. She just really likes the way they look in the backyard. Okay, let's get some more people over here. So, why can't we invite her around? Invite her, invite him. I can't believe there are still people. Okay, well, we do have some people coming over, so that's good. Here we go. Kill her. Plan the murder of this one, too. Oh, Caliente's on her way round. Here she is. That's it. Clean it up. Go round. Just end them all. It's the music that gets me. Well, there we go. That was pretty quick. Uh, Vanessa, let's get her round. Mark, he needs to come over because we didn't quite finish up the jobby we had on him. Sophia can come round. Rohan can come round. Moira, I'm sure I killed Moira, but I guess I must not have done. Uh, everyone else is looking pretty dead, to be honest. This guy we really don't like, but I'm going to pretend that we have a really good relationship so that he comes over. This guy also really doesn't like us, so I'm going to do the same trick. Neilani, I don't know how you missed the list, but somehow you did. But your luck is about to run out. Here we go. She can go. Oh, we've got this lady over here. Don't forget about her. Okay, now let's uh, see who else we can invite over. She's a child. She doesn't count. Okay, so this woman. Let's give us a good relationship with her. And this one. This guy. We can invite him to hang out. In fact, is this him? No, that's a different guy. Well, well, we'll kill this guy anyway. There we go. We'll crack his neck. Struggling to find anyone alive at this point. Oh, here's one of them. There we go. You can go. Oh, here's uh, the person that kept um, beating us up. I'm going to enjoy that one. Kill that person. Kill this person. See if there's anyone else on the list. Add them to the family. Just grab those graves. Well, there we go. It's pretty much the uh, the whole neighbourhood is dead. Oh, the Grim Reaper's just giving us a bit of a telling off. Right, we're just going to kill this one here. And then we should be done. Cheat need, make her happy. Come on, come on, Grandma, get up. 
If you wondered what a town's worth of dead people look like, it looks like this. We've just got the final handful coming in now. The only frustrating thing is this person here, Alex. She does not die. I've probably killed her about five times. She keeps coming back instantly, which is really fucking annoying. Is that two Grim Reapers? Grim Reaper 1, Grim Reaper 2. Can I kill him? Yeah, I think I can. I can kill the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I've never seen two Grim Reapers at the same time. Is it weird that I kind of want to make them kiss? Yeah, Alex can't die. She just came straight back to life. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, kill that guy. Kill that guy and then we'll end it here. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it did this purely out of curiosity but uh, if you did like it maybe like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye